Y dile que yo luego les pa le pago. When it comes to farm work, <laughs> Todos los días. <laughs> it's often a family affair. When I first started picking, I was about, I want to say eight years old, when I first started picking strawberries. Soledad Flores says that was in the 80s, when it wasn't uncommon for kids to work in the fields alongside their parents. A family of farm workers, they've been selling hand-picked fruit for decades now. Here at the Plant City Farm and Flea Market. This is my family's income. Mm -hmm. It still is. <laughs> still is from my mom and my dad. It but, would um, have been Soledad's life too. As a teenager, she dropped out of school before 10th grade got married young and began having kids. This is all I knew. This is all I knew. So, um, and this is all my parents could show me. <laughs> Things changed though, when some new customers showed up. They were just trying to get those teenagers to go back to school. And uh, that's where I met them. Two women came with an unexpected sell. At that point I was like, I'm not going to be at the market as often anymore, or it's going to change. My path is changing. A path that led her to the San Jose Mission. There she got her GED, which led her to classes to become a certified nursing assistant, which led to a job at Baycare. Buenos días, señora Luisa. She worked at St. Joseph's Hospital, then eventually went back to school again to become an RN. Pásale, mire. And in a final Pásale. twist of fate, back to this same mission, this clinic, to be its community daycare nurse. It was almost like a blessing in disguise because I felt like I literally went all the way around and came right back where I started. See, and I went. Today, she is helping Eloisa Hernandez Perez. She's diabetic and working to get her blood sugar under control. This machine will tell me how her glucose levels have been in the past three months. It's called the A1C. Helping Eloisa and others in this community it hits different for Soledad. She often now helps a group she knows well, farm workers. The patients that I see here are a reflection of my parents. They're a reflection of my parents because I see how tired they are, <laughs> how um, helpless they feel sometimes with the situation that they're in. I see their hearts are warm, but their hands are tired. So when I see my patients here, I treat them like my family. And she does. Almost all of her patients have her cell phone number. 5.9. And that is? It's really good. She's doing the work. We were hoping to get less, but it's the same as last time, so we'll take it. Take it and move forward. With her patients, she feels our family. I feel like I'm back where my roots are at. Adios. Helping those that are struggling just like I was when we were little. <laughs>